Now let's adjust the visibility for all of the items in our course content so that the student sees everything they should see and the student doesn't see the things that they shouldn't see. So we're going to go to the content tab and the first thing we're going to do is this prep your course module. We want to change this from being published where everybody can see it to draft where only the instructor can see it. So now this will effectively be hidden from the student and if we go back to the course homepage and uh, change our role to student. Now if we go to the content tab we'll see only the things that the student sees. So you see that the course prep module is just gone and uh, using the template module is gone as well. So that's what we want. Switch back to the instructor. And then the next thing we want to do is in module one, actually, I'm sorry, in the course information module, we want to make sure that this intro quiz is uh, released to the student. So let's go ahead and go to the quizzes tab. And we see the intro quiz here. We can click on the link to edit it. And under restrictions, right at the top, you'll see the status, which is inactive. So we're going to change that to active and save and close. So now it's an active quiz and if we go to the content tab we should see it in the module. Now it hasn't been associated with a grade item yet um, so we're going to take care of that in a later video. Now one thing a lot of instructors like to do, I do this myself, is uh, rather than having all of the modules available to students, visible to students on day one, I actually like to release my modules periodically throughout the course, usually on a weekly basis. And uh, for a longer course, eight to ten weeks, this helps keep everybody on the same page. So you don't have some students that are darting out ahead and maybe completing some assignments before they've gotten feedback. And, and uh, you don't have other students who are just sort of overwhelmed by the amount of material. So by releasing one module per week, this can help to, um, to, to clean that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and put a date restriction on module two so that it's only visible during the second week of the course. I'm going to click on the module and uh, actually I was already there. So I'm going to click on this add restrictions here at the top. And here I can set a start date when the module becomes visible to students, an end date, and an optional due date. And I usually just set the start date. So let's go ahead and add a start date. Now we want the module to be available throughout the entire second week. So that starts on 512 in the term that I'm teaching this on. So I'm going to change this so that the module is released on 512 first thing in the morning, which is 12 o'clock a.m. and I'm going to update. So now you'll see that begins May 12th has been added to the table of contents and if I switch to the student role and go to the content tab, I see that module 2 is in here but it begins May 12th but I can't actually access any of these assignments. I can see them, but I can't actually activate them.